Since the accident, he's had a There you go. So my legs. Hey, someone talk to me. Hey, you don't want to hear me talking to you? Great heart for transplant. Who? My heart? Oh, God. They don't know I'm in here. Hey, genius. I think it violates certain ethical laws to rip the organs out of a guy who's still alive. Possibly Thank certain you. law laws, too. Thank you. Could you uh, get back in your bed, please, Mr. House? It's actually Dr. House. This guy's a doctor. There's also Navy SEAL House, but you're going to have to save up for that one. Really? Well, that's interesting, but uh, you're here because you crashed your motorcycle, not because I need a consult, so get back in bed. Scrape my elbow. I need a truckload of Vicodin. Where's this guy? He's brain dead. No, I'm not. So drop it. See that? Minimal brain waves don't mean he's alive. I, I am alive. I'm alive. here. EG response to painful stimuli, hot or cold. What you're seeing is random, barely discernible. I discerned it. Listen to him, please. No, that's just the amplifier's internal noise level. It's on increased sensitivity. No, 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 it's not. It's me. Then why is his eye following you? Exactly. Following motions and involuntary reflex. No. You're a doctor. You should know these things. No, no, I'm not dead. I need help. I'm here. I also know about locked-in syndrome. That things are either involuntary or voluntary. Blink if you can hear me. I hear you. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Eye movement is deliberate. Can you blink once for yes, twice for no? I hope so. Square root of nine? You got that faster than you. Brain is fully functional. Lee. Where's Molly? You were in an accident. Lee, hit the brake, hit the brake, hit the brake! You sustained a traumatic injury to your brainstem, which has cut off your brain's ability to communicate with the rest of your body. Can you fix me? Where's Molly? You still have movement in your eyes, so we can get you to a rehab facility where they can teach you how to communicate. No. I can't be stuck like this. Unless crash didn't cause the brain damage. Maybe the brain damage caused the crash. Yeah. I could have stopped. Why couldn't I stop? Look at his palms. No scrapes. He didn't even try to protect himself. I suggest slowed reflexes or no reflexes. You're not a doctor in this hospital. You are a patient. Yeah, yeah and well, you're the guy who wants to cut out my organs, and he's the guy who doesn't. Stroke, cancer, even a simple infection. Anything that insults the central ponds can do this. Then that means I could be fixed. You're giving him false hope. He needs to accept what's happened and work on making the most of it. Why would he have a seizure? Because he has cancer. His brainstem is compromised. Why are you still arguing with this guy? Hey. You thought I was dead. Welcome back. And nicely played. You almost died. Exactly as we planned. You knew this was gonna happen? It usually happens when you treat cancer by pretending it's not cancer. Right, doctor? My turn. It's cancer. No, it isn't. Yes. Small tumor in his brainstem causing perineoplastic syndrome. He needs plasmapheresis. Can you give that to him? No, no, I'm sorry. I completely disagree with Dr. House. Please shut up. I don't. Just being so I can treat him. Let him. Let him. Is that what you want? Absolutely. Could you send up a couple of bellboys? Easy questions. You'll be done before you know it. Is this equation correct? What, sir? If you make a mistake, I'm not gonna know that anymore? Are these lines parallel? Special relationships intact. Take a look at this circle. There's more than half of it shaded. Of course. Don't forget to blink. There's more than half of the circle shaded. Sorry. Yes. Look at me, Lee. Again. Is more than half of this circle shaded. Blink. Come on, Lee. Blink. I'm back out. Can I blink? Can I blink? One way to communicate, now that's gone. Well played. Brain biopsy reveals severe damage to the myelin sheath. Question is why? 
Epstein Barr for coronaviruses and malaria. He runs a business, meets a lot of people, could have picked up rotavirus. He a report having bloody diarrhea. Wife's not sure, says he doesn't complain. Did you ask him? We prioritized. He can only blink. A real history would have taken weeks. If he had Epstein Barr, he'd have belly pains. If he had the coronavirus, he'd have headaches. Five other yes, no questions. Maybe we'd know what treatment to give. What treatment would kill him. Unless he's already dead. Maybe there's another way. Brain computer interface, better known as BCI. The goal is to get you to move that cursor with your mind. When you think up, the computer records the pattern. Think up enough times, it eventually learns what you're thinking. So, start thinking up. Metal filings. Judging by the color, that's would cadmium. Which he'd aerosolize with the broom and right into his lungs. Heavy metal poisoning explains everything. The chelation will scrub the heavy metals out of your blood. If we are right about the cause, we should see some movement in about a day or so. Can't put this thing on turbo? Getting a little anxious in here. Somebody will be here at all times to uh, irrigate your eyes, keep you company. Hopefully, help make the time go quicker. Hand me the fluorescein stain. What's that mean? Epithelium looks torn. These drops sting. I'm going to close your left eye to keep it protected. I'm gonna blink your eye a few times to distribute the dye. Ulcerative keratitis. It means it's not cadmium poisoning. Which means you don't know what's wrong. Again, something's wrong. I know. What's this? Something's wrong. I think I'm. Pull the needle out. Oh god. No, no, no. I'm... Call the code. Itchy foot? It's liver failure. The liver's fine. His enzyme have been normal since we admitted him. I didn't say failing, I said failure, just like you. Liver's like a cruise ship taking on water. As it starts to sink, it sends out an SOS. Only instead of radio waves, it uses enzymes. The more enzymes in the blood, the worse the liver is. Once the ship has sunk, there's no more SOS. You think the liver's fine, but it's already at the bottom of the sea. So dying liver released toxins, damaged the nerves, led to locked-in syndrome. Now we just need to know what's causing the liver failure. Liver plus eye plus kidney, most likely sclerosis and cholangitis. Oh, God, if only Talbot said that. Would have been a happy ending. Do a biopsy to confirm. I'm going to numb up the area where we'll go in for the punch biopsy. Where's the new bracelet? I'd rather have it at home in the jewelry box than getting peed on at work. You got the patient's urine on that arm? When I was putting in the catheter. Why? You've got a rash. The bracelet's real. I figured. So what if the rash isn't just a rash? What if it's an infection? If there were rats in that basement, then the liver failure could be caused by leptospirosis. Transfers through urine, rat pee to him, his pee to you. The infection would need an entry point. Look for any recent scratches, cuts. Look. Next to his fingernail. The infection destroyed your liver, which released toxins that caused the locked-in syndrome. You were dying of a paper cut. I hope you're right this time. We found rats in your buddy Dave's basement. Tested positive for leptospirosis. Means we're on the right treatment. So, try moving a finger. I'm sure you've lost hope. I know we've told you several times that we knew what this was, but this time we're right. Concentrate. Move one finger for me. <laughs> 